So I made it to Vegas and I was heading to the Mandalay Bay for check-in and they offered me an upgrade to the Delano, Delano? Yeah, it's Delano. This is a nod toward our 32nd President Franklin Delano Roosevelt. With over 1,118 rooms, it is a big tower. This is smoke-free, no gambling, and yes, you have access to the Mandalay Pools. So there are a couple of ways to check in at the Delano Hotel. I checked in at the Mandalay Bay, got my key there, and didn't even have to go to the check-in desk here at the hotel. You can, though, walk down this really cool hallway with lots of cool seating. This is just off the sports book from Mandalay Bay, and you enter this really cool, dark, kind of a sultry vibe of a lobby, and you can check in here. Of course, if you self-park or you're coming in from the parking area, you would access from this area as well. You're gonna go past these 126,000 pound boulders that are about 150 million years old. I don't know why, I think that's kind of interesting. And then you have these automatic doors, which is great. There's a little sensor on it, the door pops open. So if you're carrying your luggage, you can just walk right in. Of course, when I did it, the second door didn't quite open on itself. So I don't know, we'll have to get back on that one. But yeah, then you walk in, you pass a coffee shop on your right hand side and the check-in is right in front of you. You're the type that loves to gamble like me. I am a, a craps player all day long and will occasionally hit the machines. But at the end of the day, I just like to get away from all the noise and the smoke. And the Delano is definitely a hotel you'd want to consider. The whole lobby area is kind of dark, but it was quiet. There was very little smoke at all uh, in that area, which I found just very refreshing coming from the gambling floor. And it was just really one of those places where you think maybe spies met or something everything was just kind of dark and dimly lit it was pretty cool i really enjoyed it definitely take some time to walk around in the lobby they got some interesting art pieces and just uh, all these pieces of boulder hanging in, in another uh, display just really cool they also have you know a coffee shop there uh, on your way out in the morning other than that not too many restaurants they did have one breakfast restaurant and i'll show you that later on in the video but this is the hallway that i was talking about that i really enjoyed and during my stay uh, in at the hotel for a couple of days i saw a lot of people sitting in these chairs taking photos hanging out after gambling all night it was just a really cool place and i really felt it transitioned from the gambling area of the mandalay to the delano hotel in a really classy cool type of way because my original reservation was for the Mandalay Bay, I made all my restaurant and club reservations for that area as well. So I didn't book anything for the Skyfall Lounge. If you have visited this place, I'd love to know what your thoughts are in the comments. And if you appreciate content like this, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe. So let's go ahead and head up to the room and I'll show you what it looked like. So I ended up in a basic suite on the 37th floor. I think the basic suites go up to the 38th floor and then above that is the VIP suites. I'd love to hear from someone who stayed at a VIP suite. I heard there's significantly more square footage to those rooms. I thought the room was nice and roomy. It's some of the largest basic suites on the Vegas Strip for sure. Although the coloring, I felt I was just beiged out or tanned out in the whole room. There was some interesting art on the walls and of course the layout was nice and it was convenient and the bed was extra large and roomy. I had some great views out towards the uh, airport and uh, down the side of the strip. That was cool to look at as well. I really did enjoy the room overall. The bathroom was beige and browned out as well, and I'm sorry, but I missed the shot. There's actually a TV on the wall, so you can sit in the bathtub and watch TV. How's that? Super cool. I felt the water pressure was impressive way up here on the 37th floor. I've been to other hotels where it's just a trickle, so that's always nice. Uh, stand up, full enclosed shower, and a really deep soaking bathtub. Always a great place after gambling and cocktails all day. In between the Delano Hotel and Mandalay along that walkway with all the cool seats is Della's Kitchen. 
This is just the classic kind of diner feel, place you want to come down for have coffee before you start your day, before heading out uh, on the Vegas Strip or getting some gambling in. They had a wide range of stuff. While I was there, I did have the huevos rancheros. It was good. I felt the tomato sauce was just a little overpowering. This was definitely not fine dining, more like comfort food and something to fuel up. The yogurt bowl, I, it was good as well, but the pomegranates were just too much, just grinding and chewing on that. I don't think uh, pomegranates is a good choice for a yogurt bowl, but it was fresh and it was tasty. The biscuits and gravy I thought was the best. There was no meat in it, which I thought would send it to another level, and there was some heat. Other than that, yeah, a great place to stop. Grab a quick meal in the quiet of the Delano Hotel before heading over to the Mandalay. Speaking of the Mandalay Bay, this is where I booked the majority of my restaurants and nightclub visits. And I have several videos coming out to you guys over the next couple of weeks. I've got the S bar, I've got the foundation room, I've got Border Grill. I've got a couple other ones. Uh, strip steak. You guys are going to love what I had to eat. The culinary experience over there was amazing. I look forward to sharing all of it with you guys. And I'll see you in the lobby.